What's up y'all? Today we're gonna install a classic Sherpa rack on the front of a mountain bike. We have four and six millimeter hex wrenches, a 10 millimeter box in wrench, a torque wrench with a four millimeter and six millimeter hex keys for tightening the hardware to spec. We need simple pliers and cable cutters and dikes for cutting the zip ties at the end of the installation. Start by installing the Robert Axel project through Axel. Remove your stock axle from your bike and compare the shaft length with the axle that came in your fit kit. Check that the thread pitch is the same by lining up the threads from both axles, making sure that they engage with each other. Apply some grease to the shaft and threads of the new axle, then insert it into your fork, tightening with your hands. Grab your torque wrench with the 6mm hex key, torque to the 10 Newton meter spec. Next we'll attach the dropouts to the rack frame. Place the rack upside down on a table with the reflector hole facing away from you. Determine dropout number one versus dropout number two using the image in your instructions. Place dropout one on the outside of the rack frame. The pannier hook should face the opposite of the reflector hole and the standoff should be facing the inside of the rack frame. Use hardware kit D with the hardware facing inward towards the center of the rack and tighten firmly. Repeat with dropout number two, but leave the hardware slightly loose. Make sure the dropouts are parallel. Make any adjustments if needed and tighten dropout number two. Next, place the rack over the axle on your bike. The axle ends will nest into the dropouts. With some bikes with steeper head angles, you might find that you need to switch the dropouts to where the pannier hook is facing the opposite direction to get the rack level. Make sure your rack is close to level. Use hardware kit B and snug the rack to the axle. Position the extenders with the slot facing the rack and the hole facing the fork. Use hardware kit E to fasten the extenders to the rack. Snug them up, but do not torque them yet. Use hardware kit F to fasten the pucks to the extenders with the brass inserts facing away from the extenders toward the tire. You may find that you need to bend the extenders to fit your fork. Now that we have located where the pucks are gonna sit on your fork, we can install the clear protective tape. Measure and cut tape accordingly to avoid overlapping. You can clean the area with alcohol, then apply the tape. Try to smooth out any bubbles. Using the supplied zip ties, fasten the pucks to the fork. Now use pliers to pull the zip ties tight. Trim off the excess zip tie. Now with the bike on level ground, we can move the rack forwards or backwards to make sure it's level. Looks good to me. Now we can do our final hardware check with the bike back in the stand and torque everything to spec. Grab your torque wrench set to three Newton meters and tighten all the M5 hardware on both sides of the rack. That will be your axle hardware and your puck hardware. Then set your torque wrench to six Newton meters and tighten up all the M6 hardware. Use a 10 millimeter wrench to hold the nylock nut on the back side of the rack hardware. Repeat on the other side. Remember to double check all the hardware and parts before every ride. Now that we got this Sherpa rack mounted up on the front of this mountain bike, it's time to get out there and get weird. 